Regular programming will be interrupted for this three news special coverage report of Tropical Storm Nicholas. Good afternoon, South Texas. Continuing to keep our eyes on Tropical Storm Nicholas. Just got the update from the National Hurricane Center and it's been saying what we've been thinking here. Movement moving on off to the north northeast at about 12 miles an hour wind gusts at about 65 miles an hour gusts of about 75 miles an hour. You see that uh, center just on off to the northeast of where that official uh, tropical storm icon is. Future cone takes it on off to the north over the next several hours. Expected landfall somewhere east of Matagorda Bay later on this evening. Tropical storm warnings remain in effect for the entire coastal bend. Hurricane watch still in effect from Port Aransas up towards the Port O'Connor area as we see those wind gusts approaching hurricane strength further on off to the northeast. Most of the coastal bend starts to dwindle down in uh, coverage of that rain over the next several hours. Some moderate wind driven rain expected through the evening hours as you get towards about 9 p.m. Most of the activity pushes northeast. We begin to quiet things down and then by about midnight we're quiet with winds out of the west at about uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour. Right now wind gusts or wind sustained 15 to 20 miles an hour sustained near the coast at about 30 wind gusts approaching tropical storm strength right along the coast from Rockport, Port Aransas, and down towards the Naval Air Station, about 35 to 40 mile an hour wind gust. Max winds over the next few hours. The greatest amount of wind is going to be right along that center off to the northeast where we can see 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts here in Corpus Christi. We're looking at about 30 to 40 mile an hour winds over the next several hours. 48 rain, 48 hour rainfall totals, one to three inches is what we've been seeing across much of the coastal bend. Future rainfall totals, not a whole lot from Corpus Christi off to the southwest, but if you're off to the northeast, still about another half inch to about an inch of rain, possibly one to two inches of rain further off to the northeast. We're continuing to track this. We'll have the latest updates coming up at 430 on our show, but our Bill Churchwell is standing by live from Port O'Connor. Bill, how's it looking out there? Hey there, yeah, we're in Port O'Connor on Matagorda Bay where we are feeling those tropical storm winds uh, already and we are experiencing those bands of rain. Take a look behind me, we are seeing some minor beach flooding where we are standing. We're about 100 miles north of Corpus Christi where Nicholas is expected to make landfall this evening as a strong tropical storm. And the main threat is the possibility of that heavy rain, the flooding and storm surge, which they are expecting about three to five feet. But again, we are feeling those tropical storm winds right now, and we are seeing some minor beach flooding where we are standing. But that is the very latest here live on Bill Churchwell. Now back to you. Thanks, Bill, and stay with 3 News. Once again, we'll have an update on Tropical Storm Nicholas at 4.30 p.m. We have an hour-long newscast. Tune in for the very latest and stay with us also at KIIITV.com.